Uh, hi guys, uh, this is Sudhakar. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to create an auto reply agent. So a uh, couple of uh, scenarios where you would need to create this auto reply agent. The first one is like uh, uh, suppose if you have an externally accessible generic email ID uh, for your company, let's say that support at the rate uh, mycompany.com or uh, info at the rate mycompany.com, uh, you might expose this uh, to the web and allow people to send messages uh, to this particular email address. Uh, set, setting up uh, uh, an auto response email uh, will tell the senders that uh, their message has been reached its destination and uh, that it will be dealt with uh, accordingly. So the answer scenario would be uh, like when a user leaves the company, uh, for instance, uh, an auto reply message to inbound mails should be activated uh, in order to inform the sender about his or her uh, departure. Unfortunately, uh, the out of office function requires a return date to be set and it is not a valid option for this need. So under these two scenarios, uh, we need to create an auto reply agent on the user's mail file. So uh, go to the nodes client and this is the mail file where you need to create the uh, auto reply agent. So go to the create and click on agent. Here you can type the uh, name of the agent. So uh, it can be uh, auto reply. So here uh, under the type it shows a different uh, uh, type of uh, methods you can uh, create an auto reply agent like uh, load of script formula language uh, java imported java and simple actions uh, however i'm selecting simple actions over here and then clicking on ok so here uh, right click on the blank space and uh, click on the agent properties where we need to uh, select the uh, agent trigger so uh, under the runtime option uh, select on the action menu selection and uh, uh, select uh, before new mail arrives agent. So what is going to happen uh, when you select before new mails arrives is like whenever uh, before uh, the mail gets deposited in the uh, mail file, uh, the router ta uh, task uh, triggers this agent and the notification will be sent to the sender. So close this uh, cross mark window. Now we have set the agent properties and the agent triggering and then uh, uh, we need to set the uh, action part over here. So click on add action and under the action uh, you need to select a reply to sender and and in the reply with the message uh, here you can uh, add any links or any other messages you want to pass on to the sender uh, like uh, this is an auto replied message so here uh, there is one more option uh, reply only once per a person if you select this option uh, the sender will get a uh, notification only for the first time and from then subsequent uh, mails sent he will not get any notification uh, again similarly you, you know, there is one more option like include a copy of the document in the message so if you select this particular option uh, the sender uh, will get the uh, notification along the along with the mail uh, copy of the mail he has sent in uh, in the mail so and then click on the add option and click on the cross mark window and it once it prompts you to the save the changes uh, click on yes so the creation part is done now now we you want to know that whether uh, what is going to happen when the agent runs and uh, whether there are any errors uh, uh, in the agent log you can find out from here so you can right click on this uh, agent and the click on uh, view log it says the agent has never never run before because since it has not received any new mail so it has not run and it indicates that the agent has not run before and if any new mail comes up the this message get changed to that it has uh, run so and so time and similarly uh, you can even uh, do the uh, test portion click on the test and you will come to know that what is going to happen uh, when the agent runs uh, if any errors uh, uh, in the con configuration, uh, it will show you uh, in the agent log. Uh, that's all from my end. I hope you all understand uh, how to create an auto reply agent. 
and how to check the view log of that uh, agent thank you thanks a lot